What is up guys, Killer Kevin, today back with another episode of Skyrim Mods and today we are going to be looking at the Viking Dragon Sword and Shield. Now this is just the sword and the shield, I'm pretty sure there's other mods out there as well which include Viking Armour. So if you want to go in and grab those, make sure to just head over to the website and have a look. But if you want this one, it is down in the description below. Who knows, I might actually cover some more Viking stuff, it does look pretty damn sick, but I feel like too many people have done it. But uh, who knows, we could be doing it very shortly, never know, never know what's around the corner, never know what mods you stumble across. But without further ado, let's jump into it. Today we've got a little friend on the grinder here which is awesome because usually he's over here hogging the forge. He's going to actually come over and make our stuff. So I believe it's all the way down at the bottom of steel. Obviously you've got other mods as well, you're going to have to sift through them and find them. Again, not too bad on property wise, obviously a 34 shield which looks really beautiful. Love the texture on the back and on the front as well. Crazy if that little bit of wood breaks, <laughs> you know, they can't hold your shield. Sword looks pretty damn cool as well, very detailed in the bottom there and also some beautiful pictures as well throughout on the website. You want to go and check those out. So let's have a little look, so there's the Viking sword there and let's grab the shield. So again, really nice holster there, shield looking freaking damn awesome. I wonder if we can zoom in on the weapon here. Nope, a little bit up then. We'd like to zoom in just to show you the hilt because it does look pretty damn sexy. Or the butt of the actual blade, which looks awesome. The bottom of the blade. Let's look at the shield real quick. Again, just looks freaking awesome. The amount of detailing on that is beautiful. And on the back as well. Really good work on that one. I love the trim around it as well. And the detailing on the middle bit of the shield as well. That's pretty damn cool. So let's obviously have a little look. So as you can tell there, straight off the bat, again, back on the detail train again on the sword there. Not only through the hilt, but through the blade. Look how much detailing is on that blade. Looks freaking damn awesome. Speed, pretty damn cool. It's quite a large blade as well, to be honest, for, especially for a one-hander if you actually think about it. Not too slow, but not too fast as well. I think just about right. Obviously, you can do one of them if you want to. Yeah, overall it's pretty damn nice, not gonna lie. I love the holster there as well. Let's go into TFC1. Just have a look at it a little bit more. Uh, hello, what is this? There's somebody's chest underneath the map. <laughs> Didn't even know that was there. That's a little weird. But yeah, as you can tell, it does look freaking damn sick throughout that whole entire thing. This is what I'm talking about. I wonder if we can get a good look at this. There we go. Look at that. That's freaking awesome. That's probably my favourite bit, and also as well the blade, just generally, if we can get a good look at that. Yeah, we can. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, and the shield as well. I'm not sure. Uh, it's just the same texture around there, but this obviously is very textured in between. Beautiful. That is awesome. Right, so guys, if you did enjoy it, make sure to hit me up with a like and a comment. Let me know if you're getting this one as well in the comments section below. We'll have a little chat down there. Let me know as well if I should do some more Viking stuff. I'm not too sure, it feels like it's been overdone, too many people have done it, but uh, you know, I wouldn't mind covering it, but just let me know in the comment section below. But until the next one guys, get the cap here and get the cap out.